all right good day welcome everybody to my channel so this is going to be a different bit of a reading this has to do with like an unrequited love i feel like it's something from a past life that's reoccurring in a present life all right it took me a minute to kind of shake these energies that i'm feeling because i wanted to cry i wanted to just curl up in a ball i just the energy was intense all right so let's see what we got with this unrequited love what do we have for this unrequited love do two more shuffles here so we have the baby hmm Some of you guys could be, I'm getting like a few different things here. I'm getting the vibe that some of you, some of you were separated. Some of you were a baby that came from an unrequited love. All right, I'm getting, yes, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting the vibe here that there were, People that were married, I'm getting a baby out of wedlock back in the day with the vows, the authority figures, and the baby. All right, and then we have the lessons and the blessings. So I feel like this was a blessing for somebody. Um, it could have been an Asian baby that was adopted out is what I'm getting. And obviously with the authority figures... Yeah, I feel like somebody had a baby at a very young age or they had a baby without being married. And back in Asia, obviously, that was frowned upon. It still is today. So they were um, adopted. But little did they realize that adoption led to blessings, beautiful lessons and blessings bestow their life here. We have, we have the monk. We have the finances. So some of you guys came from Kumongo living. And some of you guys, your parents may have even been enslaved or imprisoned. I feel like some of you came over maybe on a train. All right, the trees is a place where you like to be, where you like to go. Some of your parents were monks. There's an unrequited love. Wow, you guys, that is so weird because my freaking deck is over here. Wow, unreal. No, that's not a fucking magic trick. I don't fucking lie. All right, I don't make shit up. All right, wow. So unrequited love. So there was obviously something that happened here. There was, like I said, either parents weren't married um, and they had a baby out of wedlock or they had an affair and they put the baby up for adoption or whatever reasons. But whatever reasons they did this, so... I don't get what this, some of you, I'm getting a mix of things here. I'm getting a mix of energies. All right. I'm getting some of you guys had to be adopted out because your parents were enslaved or imprisoned. All right. I'm getting the vibe that you had to like do slave work in order to have finances flowing. I feel like it's a very enslaved energy way of living. Um... Anybody who's been to Asia or who has been in that culture is going to understand the way that they live, the way that they do things. I'm not getting real specific what parts of Asia, all right, because we have Asia, we have uh, South Asia, we have Southeast Asia, all right, I mean, so yeah, but I feel like whatever it was, it was, somebody was worried here about whether they were going to get... I feel like they just wanted their baby to have a good life. We have here the Ace of Swords. It's all about giving them a good life. 
All right, so let's look into this lessons and blessings. Somebody, some of you guys came from monks. Or maybe the monks adopted you out. Maybe some of you guys were adopted by monks. And that's teaching you lessons. And the lessons are bringing blessings. All right. I feel like you're, you were born out in the trees. You were born out in nature. And I want to cry. Oh, it's like when I got hit with that being born out in nature. It's like I felt the fucking birth of this. I felt the happiness. But then I felt the sadness. You guys, this reminds me of the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles here. I'm getting a Grand Trine baby. Yeah, because we have the Empress. I'm also getting here that the mother signed away. Whew. Oh, God, this is overwhelming, you guys. The mother signed away. The mother signed away the baby, too. And I feel like she cried. But she kept it hidden. She kept the lover hidden. But she went on to renew her life. Oh, my God. This is painful. We have the world. This mother just wanted her kids to have the world, her baby to have the world, yes. She wanted the baby to have success, to be able to build a beautiful life full of finances, full of blessings, and a new beginning and a new journey. A, a life of freedom, a life away from imprisonment, slavery. <sighs> oh my God, can we stop here, spirit? This is... My kids are going to be like, mom's fucking crying. <laughs> oh, it's intense. Like, it's really intense, you guys. We have here the Knight of Swords. It was a very quick decision. Yeah. All right, let's get this wrapped up because I cannot dig in this much. We have here the Eight of Wands. Yes, this is a, it was a very quick decision um, that somebody had to make here. There wasn't enough attraction chemistry to keep this relationship going, this affair. There was obviously marriage. We have here the Eight of Pentacles. Give me for the Eight of Pentacles here. It's that finances, working hard. All right. All right, let's get this wrapped up here. So I feel like there's a lot of skill, a lot of mastery, a lot of focus here. All right. We have here the two of cups. Yeah, they just wanted them to be happy. To find love, freedom. And to get everything that they want. So this mom gave her baby up. To give them the life they deserve. How beautiful. I feel like somebody is really growing up. into. I'm getting like a masculine energy here with the knighthood. Sticking out to me here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. They just wanted them. To have a new beginning, a beautiful life full of happiness and love and carefree energy. No imprisonment, no slavery, no hard work. Just to sit here and reap the rewards of 
being here. I feel like I feel like it was a huge sacrifice here. I feel like it was very difficult. All right, because a baby was born out of an affair. And the mother loves you so dearly. And it was a huge sacrifice she had to make with the hanged woman and the justice card. Yeah, she had, you guys, there's the pain. This is the energy that I I had to sit in, and it's still affecting me during this reading. I am just a fucking crybaby right now. It pained her. It was difficult. Grieving, suffering, loss. But she realized that what she did was right. All right, so there's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of pain there's a lot of sadness but I feel like it's not as bad I feel like this is saying this is what it was like for them to do this because I feel like the mother just wanted the baby to be happy to be raised by good people to be raised away from this slavery this imprisonment and see here the blessings the lessons some of them might have been slave workers and they got impregnated. I mean, people were fucking cruel back in those days. People are still cruel in some countries on how they treat women. All right. But I feel like this was. Um, for some of you, I'm getting that your mother was enslaved and imprisoned and maybe taken advantage of and got pregnated. And for some of you. There was just an affair that took place with a king of pentacle energy, a businessman of some sort. All right, I'm getting two different things, and I don't want to go too deep. I mean, if this resonates with any of you, we can go deeper. But I'm going to just tell you that it's going to take a minute because I really have to, like, ground and center myself because this is fucking strong-ass energy. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, you guys. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.